Hello, hello again, my beautiful Scorpios, and welcome to another episode of Tea and Tarot with Tanya. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. I don't own any rights to the music playing in the background. This is a general read, so it may or may not resonate with you. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Also, I may say he, she, her, him, different pronouns. I'm not speaking about actual males or females. I am speaking about masculine and feminine energy. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you guys all for the likes, the shares, the comments, and the, su the subscriptions. Also, thank you for the donations. You guys are all so greatly appreciated. Um, let me see anything else as far as the business wise. Oh, all the information if you'd like to book a personal or to leave me a donation is down below in the description box. And I think that's it, you guys. Let's get into you guys read. Okay, so this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay. I need three cards, and I need them to jump for Scorpio. Jump, jump. Jump, jump. Okay. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Three car spirit, and I needed to jump. Scorpio. Somebody being very stubborn right now, Scorpio. I get one more for Scorpio. Thank you. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have Crown Chakra. So I do feel like someone is connecting to spirit right now, or needing to connect more to spirit here. The first card we have out is spiritual strength for my Scorpios. The second card out is moving on. Okay. The third card out for you guys is patience. And the fourth card out is suffering in silence. Okay. So I do feel like you guys have been um trying to connect to spirit, okay, using your intuition. Trying to heal yourself after moving on from some type of situation here, okay? Um, and I feel like it's taking a lot of patience. I also see here that you guys could be coming out of a dark spot, moving moving towards something new here. Something that is more light, more bright, bringing you into a new spot. Um, I do feel like you guys have been waiting for this change for quite some time. You guys could have planted some seeds here, and you've been waiting for it to come to fruition. And you've been keeping this to yourself, just waiting patiently, waiting patiently, waiting patiently. I do feel like it's finally starting to come. Um, I do see here that Spirit needs you guys to get outside and connect to nature more, okay? Um, it will help to heal your heart, open your heart back up some more. I do feel like you've been hurt, and you're holding on to a lot of pain here, Scorpio, okay? It's a lot of green in these cards here. Um, I do feel like some of you guys have planted seeds as far as a business and you have been patiently waiting for the fruits of your labor to come in here and I do see that they're going to start to take off and start to be more fruitful for you okay over the next six months here okay one last shuffle this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, what is the spiritual strength of Scorpio? Thank you. Okay, yes, yeah, so nine of wands. If someone has been guarded, blocked, you could possibly be guarded, blocked, um, not listening to your intuition. Um, you could possibly be hearing it, but not acting on it. Spirit is saying that they need you to act on your intuition, okay? You're going to miss out on something here if you don't follow the, the guidance that your intuition is giving you. Your, your intuition is God's spirit talking to you, guiding your ancestors, guiding you, moving you forward, okay? Um, yeah, can I get one more card for the spiritual strength and the nine of wands? Thank you, spirit. Yeah, I do feel like this is some type of um, change here with the will, the will of fortune here. Um, I feel like you're missing out, or you're not, you're not 
moving forward like you should because you're not listening to your intuition here, okay? You're you're blocking it. Um but if you listen, you have a very big cycle here moving forward, okay? You might have to move away from something to move towards this new cycle here, but you do have a new cycle coming forward. And I do feel like it's a lucky cycle because this, this is the wheel of karma upright, okay? I do feel like there's good fortune coming forward your way here. But you do need to use your intuition here. You need to listen. And not just listen, but act on it, okay? So what's this moving on for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay. So there is some type of um, addictions here. You could be moving on from some type of addiction. You could move on, be moving on from someone who is manipulative or controlling or has some type of addictions here, okay? Um, I do feel like you're releasing some things here, whether it is a person that had addictions or if you're releasing some addictions here. And, and this could be addicted to anything. Anything you do in excess. It doesn't necessarily have to be drugs or anything like that. It could be food. It could be watching too much TV. It could be soda. But it's just too much of something. And you're moving away from that. You're releasing it. Okay? I do feel like there was possibly someone in your surroundings. Immediate surroundings. Where there was a, um, a family member or someone that you were in a relationship with. Here that possibly could have been controlling and manipulative here, okay? Could have even possibly been a narcissist here. Um, and you're moving on from this, okay? I keep getting drawn to this this puppet, okay? Somebody was trying to play you as a puppet, and you're moving away from that. No longer allowing them to be the puppet master. So what's this devil and moving on? That's too many spirit. Could have possibly been a third-party relationship here as well. Someone could have had some type of sex addiction. What's the moving on in the devil, yeah? So you're moving on, and you're moving on to heal yourself. You you kind of withdrew from the people around you, family, friends, after you moved away from this, okay? Um, I do feel like you are taking a time out. Our spirit is saying that you need to move on and move away from these people so that you can take some time for yourself, so that you can reconnect to God, so you can reconnect to spirit, so that you can raise your vibrations up, and so that you can also get and receive these downloads the spirit is trying to give you right now, okay? What's this patience for Scorpio Sun? Y'all nasty Scorpios because the freak come out at night. Y'all so nasty. Just nasty little water signs. Yeah, so I do feel like um, you have been waiting for some type of information to come in here, okay? Some type of clarity. And it's taking a long time for you to get this, but I do feel like it's coming. Someone is coming forth quickly with some type of information. Um, this Knight of Swords is is someone, like I said, this is someone coming in quickly to give you some type of truth here or to speak their truth. And I do feel like you've been patiently waiting. It could be some type of um, business papers that you've been waiting to come in that needs to be signed here. Um, I feel like you could have some type of inheritance or some type of money coming in and you're waiting on the paperwork to come in so that you can receive this money, right? Um, and it just seems like it's taking a long time, but it's on its way. It's coming quickly now. I feel like there was a backup due to the corona and the court systems here, but it's coming now. You've been patient. It's coming. You've been suffering in silence. I feel like you haven't told anybody about this money that's coming either, okay? Um, and you've been struggling. You really need it, but it's going to get there right on time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's going to get here right on time. The, the money going to hit the door right when you need it. What is this um, patience in Knight of Swords? One more card for the patience in the Knight of Swords. Yeah. The emperor here um so i do feel like this is someone who is a boss or someone who's very strategic this is someone that's coming in this could be someone coming in to tell you how they feel about you that you've been patiently waiting or this is you building your business here or, or career here and you're getting the clarity and the the truth that you've been waiting for about this situation here okay i do feel like um with the emperor here this, this masculine energy, this is someone who, like I said, is boss type. So you could be starting your own business or wanting to start your own business or waiting for your own business to flourish here, okay? But it is about to take off. Can I get one more card for this emperor here? And that's too many. One more card for this emperor and the patient spirit. That's two. Yeah, you could possibly be dealing with a Sagittarius here. Um, but this is getting balanced here. So I feel like your finances are going to balance out. And if you do have a love here and they're coming to speak their truth and you've been patiently waiting on them, they are no longer hung up in their head, okay? They're coming forward 
They're coming forward to bring balance here, okay? Could be dealing with another water sign. Um, besides yourself here, um, Scorpio, you could be dealing with another Scorpio or Cancer or Pisces here. The hangman is usually my Pisces, Cross or Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Pisces. But it's something that's being patient. You want to balance it out here. Um, some type of truth here. Something you've been holding in. You've been holding in some things you wanted to say or holding in some feelings about your finances here. I see that. That's going to change, okay? I also feel like you've been holding in some feelings here about some past relationships here. You've been talking to God, trying to heal from that. That's why you're guarded, okay? Um, Spirit is saying that you're going to um, be released from that as well here. What is this suffering in silence for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is suffering in silence? Thank you. Yeah, you're going to move into a, a time where things are balanced now. Emotionally and spiritually and financially here. So your life is start, is going to start to balance out here. You're going to start to <laughs> see your luck changing here, okay? And changing for the better, okay? But listen to your intuition so you know which doors to go through. So you know which people to deal with. So that you don't get caught up with the riffraff and getting thrown off your path. If you listen to your intuition, you'll be able to stay on the right path and all these doors will open for you. This money is going to come falling in your hand. Like I said, somebody might even come bring you some money here, okay? You don't have to worry about money anymore. Money will no longer be an issue. Stability will no longer be an issue. Look, the best card in the deck, the sun, okay? You are being healed emotionally, physically, spiritually, mentally. You are getting the healing. You have been doing the work. And Spirit is fit to give you your your just due, your reward. So I feel like you have, um, for sure, a financial blessing coming in, okay? For those of you who are single, I do see um, a stable partner coming in for you, whether it's a man or a woman. But this emperor status here, I do see someone coming in that is business, boss type. That is going to come in and speak some clarity and truth to you. That's going to give you a balanced, loving relationship here, okay? If you're already in a relationship, something committed, and it's going to balance out. If things have been rocky, it's going to balance out. You guys are going to be able to speak your truth and get some clarity. It will be healed, okay? So, Scorpio, I'm going to put one more deck for you guys. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watchers are welcome. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're on last shuffle. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, Spirit. What's this here? For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The Nine of Wands and the Wheel and the Spiritual Strength. The wheel. Thank you. Okay, yeah, so you could be dealing, you could possibly be dealing with um, a fire sign here. Could possibly be an ex person that you were dealing with. Um, the reason why you're guarded. This is a divine couple here with the emperor, even though the emperor is in reverse. Right now, I feel like um, because you're guarded, that's why you're in reverse here. You're guarded because of past issues. Um, Holding your tongue, really guarded with this King of Swords here about this new person coming in here, this offering this balanced relationship. This is a soulmate, though, with the Emperor and the Empress here, okay? I do feel like you're fiery, um, but I do feel like you were hurt in the past. And Spirit is saying that you need to use your intuition so you can release this so that you can come back upright okay so that you can go back to nurturing yourself and and being in your own power okay okay whether you're male or female okay self-nurture hear your heart because you do have something coming in you have a positive soulmate type relationship here this is a divine couple the emperor and the empress here it's going to be balanced it's going to be something healing here okay it's going to come with truth and clarity. But you need to release your past. What's this devil and the hermit?
Yeah, so the past, you, you thought in the past the person from the past was your wish fulfillment, and it turned out that it, that they weren't, okay? And this caused you a lot of heartache and pain. This is why you're so guarded right now. But you're coming out of this, okay? You're going to move past this. No longer being set, obsessed with this person from the past. No longer being caught up in the hurt, the, the, the blame, releasing, releasing um, this past hurt, releasing the past aggression and allowing yourself to open up to this new love coming in, this new relationship coming in here. What's this hermit card spirit? What's the hermit? Yeah, the ace of wands in reverse. No longer wanting to have, um, no longer wanting a passionate beginning or a passionate, uh, connection with this past person here, okay? You're moving away from that. Actually, you're moving away from it quickly. You've been patient. You've healed your heart from this situation here. I feel like this all appears past issues, past feelings, past emotions. I feel like all this is stuff that you have released, that you have worked on, that you have went inside and you've healed from, okay? This is what's coming towards you. This emperor is coming towards you quickly um, with some truth and some clarity about how they feel about you, about moving forward, about healing Um Healing your heart, having a, a, a balanced relationship here. What's this Knight of Swords spirit? What's the Knight of Swords for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising? Yeah, um, I do feel like this was you. <laughs> I got two stories. Okay, so this is you. This Knight of Swords is you running away from this past relationship. No longer looking for a future with this past relationship here, okay? Um finally letting go, finally being healed, finally saying, okay, I got the truth, I'm done, running away from the situation, running away from that heartache and pain that you held on to so, for so long, running towards something new here, okay, so what is this Knight of Swords and the Emperor together spirit, <laughs> yep, running towards this family here, okay, um, this is the new relationship coming in. This is the happy home, the family. This is emotional stability, okay? This is someone coming in that wants to be the husband or the wife, that wants to have the kids with you, that wants to have the little house and, you know, go on the picnics and the family vacations and build a business with you and, and have um, a long-term relationship with you, balanced love. What is this temperance spirit? Yeah, with the King of Wands, you could, like I said, you could possibly be dealing with a fire sign here, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Um, possibly Sagittarius because it, it fell on top of the Sagittarius with the King of Wands here, um, which is on top of the Temperance, excuse me, Temperance is the Sagittarius card. Um, so I do feel like this new person coming in, if they're not a fire sign, they are, um, they have fire prominent in their chart. They're very passionate, romantic, loving. Um, boss type, take care of the family, the house, the home, the kids, husband, material type, okay? And they're good sexually. What's this, um, hangman's spirit for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Yeah. They want to come in and offer you a relationship, okay? They want something long term here. They're coming in and, um, Wanting marriage, the celebration could possibly want to buy a house with you or, or move in with you, move in together or something of that nature here, okay? But they do want to come bring a balanced relationship here. What is the Six of Pentacles and the Sun Spirit? And you're stuck in your head. Um, it, it landed up here at the top with this past stuff, so I feel like this is no longer being stuck in your head. Spirit is saying that um, when this person comes in, you may... Um, be a little stressed thinking it's too good to be true, but it's not too good to be true. This person is coming in to give you a balanced, healed, loving relationship. Do not allow yourself to allow the past to come in and affect your future here, okay? What's this Six of Pentacles in the Sun spirit? The Six of Pentacles in the Sun for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Yeah, this is the change, okay? This is the change that's coming. You are releasing the past. You are no longer allowing those emotions to hurt. You're healing that. So you can move forward to this new loving relationship here, okay? One last time. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, no longer looking at the past. You're going to release it. That's what this change is. No longer looking at the past. You've been stuck in, 
you've been stuck on the past, stuck on the emotion, stuck on the hurt. Spirit is also saying if you don't change this, if you don't release this past, you will not get this future here, okay? So it's, it's up to you, okay? We all have free will. But the longer it takes you to heal and release the past, the longer it takes for this new love to come in, this balance, equal give and take, loving, emotionally stable relationship, this healing relationship. If you're ready for it, then release the past. If you already released the past, be expecting this person to come in. If you're still holding on to this, you need to let go. You need to release. Um, if you need to talk to somebody, if you need to get a personal read, all my information is down below. So we can help you deal with the situation and the issue so you can cut these cords and move forward. But until next time, Scorpio, happy birthday again. Happy birthday. You have something very beautiful coming in. You just have to do the work. So until next time, you guys, love, light, and peace. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share, my peoples.